welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to be working on the Cut Viper series. Along with this video, I am making two other ones. So I am trying to make this all work. So yes, you have seen the same stuff on some of the videos, just slightly, a little bit, not too much. So right now we left off on closing the embroidery. So sewing up the embroidery on the back of our cloth diaper. And this is what I left it off as. So I did not touch it whatsoever. So we are going to be working on this today. The first thing that we're going to need to do, and before I get started on this, I went ahead and cut all the other pieces that I'm going to need. All right, for the first step, we're going to cut the back extra um, pieces of the stabilizer. So as you can see, there's a lot of stabilizer left, especially the cutaway. So we're gonna trim this down to just a little bit left on the sides here. This one tears right off. So this you can just tear right off. Or you can just go ahead and cut it as well um, when you're cutting the other one. But this comes off really, really easily. Let me take this off, actually. Yeah, if you just pull right along the, uh, the stitches, it comes right off. I'm going to put this right there, pick it up in a little bit. And now you're down to just the one stabilizer. So what I usually do is I take the fabric and I kind of bunch it up at the front and I follow along here and I cut. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I went ahead and cut the extra. So this is what it looks like now on the back. And if you can see, I left just enough on the sides here to make sure that I wouldn't go too close to the embroidery. I could have gone a little closer. Honestly, I usually go a little closer. But just for the purpose of the video, I just want to show you exactly what it looks like. All right, so the next step will be to go ahead and fold your fabric in half and pin your fabric. This just helps keep it in place instead of you having to hold it. Again, I only did it on this. I did not do it on the diaper itself. And I only put one here, here, and here. And I'm going to start sewing from here. So when I start sewing, I'm going to sew right outside of where my stabilizer is. And I just left enough stabilizer to just kind of be... So here's the embroidery and then just a little bit extra on the sides here. And this is what it's looking like so far. And once we go ahead and sew all around here, we're actually gonna cut all the extra fabric too. So then you're gonna have a smaller little pocket back there. Not necessarily a pocket, but closure back there um, with your embroidery. I'm excited. We'll see how this turns out. Before I start sewing, what I tend to do is you're gonna have your diaper that's gonna be looking something like this. I take this fabric and I fold it all the way back. So it kind of looks like this. So that way by making sure that I fold my fabric away, I know that I won't sew over it. And then I align my foot right where the outside would be of my stabilizer and you probably can't see it on camera but you can actually see it on here very well uh, a lot of the times you can actually see it especially if it's just white fabric you can see the stabilizer right underneath so you can just sew right next to it so right now I can tell you that the stabilizer it's gonna be all around that's the edge of it so I'm gonna be sewing around that edge right there so the first stitches you always want to go forward. I take about, I'm going to see three or four stitches forward and I, the machine does have a function where I can just set it up to go back and forth. These are the stitches that are going to make sure that the rest of it doesn't come undone. I usually just do it myself. I do three or four. So I go three forward, back forward, and then three forward again, and then just continue sewing from there on.
this is what it looks like now. I went ahead and sewn all around the embroidery back here. Now what you want to do next is cut all the extra fabric off and you just want to leave just a little bit, maybe about like that much fabric. I don't know if you can really tell. Away from the stitches. You don't want to get too close to the stitches. Um, I at least never do or try not to. Okay, so this is what the back of the diaper now looks like. As you can see, it looks a lot cleaner and nicer. I only went ahead and cut again just slightly off of the stitches here. So I'll just have enough fabric left to protect the stitching line here. And now your embroidery is completely enclosed and it's just sitting right in there. So the next step will be to add the snaps onto the diaper. I had already pre-marked my fabric and I went ahead and put the holes on it. Um, to put the holes on it, I got this from, I think it was Joann's. They sell the set with the snaps and then they also sell this. And all you do is just find your little spot and then just push through and it puts a hole on the fabric. And it's going to be just perfect, big enough to put the backing for your snap on there. I did the same thing with my backing piece here. I went ahead and put the holes on it. I also marked this because it makes it easier to match your diaper um, to the backing. And then that way you have a nice and neat and straight back. The colors I selected are going to be this pink. It's supposed to be like rose gold pink. Or rose quartz, actually, I think it is called. And then this green color, these are two of the colors, very similar, I think, to what it's on the diaper. So I went ahead and picked those two options. I'm going to go ahead and start putting some of the snaps on here. And I'm going to show you just a few, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them off camera, because it's going to take a little bit of time. All you do is you take this piece, a little cap, and you put it through the hole. And same thing for here, you push it through the hole. And this is going to be ready for snapping. So I'm going to do each end so this is straight. So this is the snap press I am going to be using. I love, love, love this. If you are able to get one, I highly recommend that you do. Especially if you're going to be doing a lot of diapers, you definitely will want to get something like this. Now, it does come with two of these. It comes one for the stud and one for the second. It just, it's the way they fit in here. That's the one that you're going to need. So this is snap press. I already changed this piece out for the correct one that I need. I went ahead and snapped the, I put the caps all on the back for the first row. And all I usually do is take this, put it here, just like that. And then you're going to use the handle and press this down. And then this is what the snap looks like. I get excited every time I do this. So this is what the diaper is looking like right now. I did the green with the pink and then the pink with the green. Now that we have the snaps added on the diaper here, the next step is going to be to actually put your pieces together. And I'm also going to add my other pieces in there. I did run these through the serger so it gives it a nice little clean finish um, for these. So let me go ahead and get started on this. It's going to take a little bit and we'll see what the diaper looks like. And then it's to the sewing machine and you officially have all your pieces put together. I'm gonna go over how you're gonna lay this together. Um, so you have the outer piece of your diaper. This is the part that you get to see. This is the inner piece of the diaper and this goes right in between these two pieces. So what you wanna do is you're gonna have soft side of the fabric facing soft side of the fabric. Then you're gonna have shiny side facing shiny side, which is going to be this one. And you should be able to see when you have your diaper all pinned together, soft side and then shiny side underneath with your piece right here in the middle. Mm -hmm. 